guys how you guys doing so yeah man um so on this video here what i want to do is i want to basically show you guys how to um go about making a deep house track you know um so obviously you know there's a whole lot of talk and you know controversy or whatever so whatever word you want to you wanna use but basically there's a whole lot of disagreements about um, what what is deep house and what what is what isn't deep house? You know, everybody just feels like they listen to a certain type of house music, and they feel like it's it's very low in terms of BPM and it fits that and it's, it's got these things, and so they they classify it as deep house. You know, so I personally I'm not gonna lie, I haven't done that much research on the whole concept of deep house and what is deep and what isn't deep house, but I've been listening to a few artists like Brame and this other guy. Um, I think it's Hamo or Hamo, however you pronounce it, H A M O. Um, a local South African guy as well called um, Kenny Dolo. It's it's Kenny and D O L O, you know. And I've been listening to that material, you know, and um, and a few other artists as well. And and basically, so for me, I felt for me in my personal opinion, I would say for me that was deep house music. I would say that that is what I would classify as deep house music. Um, so in this in this video here. You know, basically, I'll be showing you guys how to make those particular type of tracks. You know, um, and that's pretty much it. You know, so if you feel like if you if you don't want to watch this video here, you can what you can do is you can check out the, those uh, the, the artists that I just mentioned, listen to the material, and if you feel like okay, you understand what they're doing, and you you feel like that's what you want to learn, then you can come back and watch the video. You know, um, but otherwise, do check that check check out that music first, and then come through and watch the video if you want to learn how they do that music. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna be very basic about it, you know. So what what happened was I had already started making the video, and then for some very odd reason, like I think my RAM is too is too low. I've got like one gig RAM, so I need to kind of invest in it and, and get another one. But anyway, so I've already got the basic instruments here that I'll be using, you know. So I'll just quickly do it all over again and start a, start afresh. So I'll just do the kick for you guys. So the kick is very basic. You should know by now how to how to lay out the kick. So you just press there. Let me take. Uh, so what you want is you want a very hard kick. You want a kick that's sort of like this. You can obviously have you know whatever. It depends on the track that you're making and the type of deep, deep house track that you're making and stuff. You might need uh, a, a slightly weaker track, a weaker kick or something. But for me, I felt like yeah. Um, sorry, before before I continue laying out the track, um, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take take down the BPM. The BPM usually ranges from based on the tracks that I've been listening to. The BPM usually ranges between one fifteen to about one eighteen, one eighteen, somewhere around there. You know that it it's it's very rare where it actually goes all the way up there and stuff. So I'll I'll put it on about one eighteen just to be safe. Um. So that's pretty much it and then you've got your instruments so you need a kick and then you need a clap you know and and once again like the the the, inst the instruments that i'm talking about here it's just basically the general stuff that i've been hearing you know that are co that, that that's constant in each and every track that i've listened to you know so it's not to say that if you have other stuff on it it's not going to be a deep house track i'm just mentioning the basic stuff that i've been listening to you know um from these artists so yeah so so don't take this as a if uh, as a as that's it you know borderline cut kind of thing like if if it's not this then it's not deep house you know this is just my personal opinion based on what i've been listening to so right now it sounds like this oh, okay I forgot to do this yeah So let's come here and add a So that's pretty much our track right now So what you need next is you need um a sound you need you need a hat so what you they usually use like open hats most of the time it's very rare they might use open hats in conjunction with closed hats but usually the the most distinct hats that you hear will be the the open hats so it will sound something like this something like this so basically putting it there 
so it's like the kick except the kick starts on the solid line and then the the head starts like halfway between two solid lines so it's like this you get it the next sound you might need is next you okay so now this is like this is the hard part in the whole tutorial i can't explain this but um i'll do my best next what you need are two main things you need um sounds with a lot of ambience to it you know i, I don't know if I, i'm describing it properly but let me just open this plugin and see if it will do the job for me um so you need those particular sounds and then on top of that you need um you, you not that you need i think i feel like i'm using the wrong word but you can have you can have um vocals you can have vocals on your track and those vocals will just like it's very rare where you find that, like constant vocals you might find that they might drain the vocals every now and then but they never constant you know so that's one thing so yeah so let's try to get the, those particular sounds that will make that will give us that feel you know to the whole track so i'll start with this sound here which i used earlier on when i was making the video for the first time so let me do this Okay, so you've got that particular sound there what you might need now is another sound to basically make your track and you might need a bass to it you know so let me check if it's still recording okay yeah so it's still recording so let's 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 work on this plugin now let's let's see if you can find a sound to basically create a, to create a melody basically so I'll use um I'll use this sound it's a sound that I usually use um, it's called Transmania uh, I forgot where it is. Trans, usually somewhere around here. Uh, yeah, I'm struggling to find it now. There it is. So I'll use this sound here. Um, and so I do, I do variety of things with this. So that. No, I want it more in the background like that. So something like that, and then let's continue the track. So you get it, something like that, something like that, and then maybe like. So let's do it. So you know so you've got your basic melody there and then what you might do next is you might so now we want to make like <coughs> we want to make like the base of the track so So you've got you've got that there. So now what you want to do is you want to add a, a bass to it. So 
base um they usually use um what kind of base do they use uh I don't know hey um let me see let's first add a let's first add a, a close hat with this so let's use that one let's use that let's control C control V decrease the size control C control V so we're basically making it double so that it just like kind of taps the whole time take it down like that decrease the volume so let's use let's use that as our base let's use this sound as our base i don't know if it's going to sound properly but i kind of use this it from a different track and it sounded good so I'll use it so what I'll do is I'll copy the the the, um, the melody of this sound here and I'll use that as a bass but then I'll just twist it around here and there so something like this So you get the idea. So let's let's assume that would be our base right there. So we've got the base now. So we're pretty much good, and you've got your track. And then the only thing missing now is, depending on you as well, is if you want to add like those vocals, like sliced vocals in between, to just help the track out. You know, so we could do that as well. I feel like I don't like this bass, so what I'll try is I'll I'll add a, a different bass. Let me use hypersonic. See if we can find a proper bass for this. Hmm. Okay, cool. So let's cut that, put it there, delete this sound, and let's check here. We've got an idea of a base that we might use. So it's somewhere here, sync bases. Let's try this. That could work. Let's try this one. So that's too high. So you could use a tube base like that. Next up, what you might need is let's clone that and then we change it from a base to like pads now. So like kind of strings and pads. So you probably need something like, um, let's see, let's try this. So we want to follow the same, be on the same key basically as, as the rest of the track. So let's use that particular one. Do that, stretch it out. Ugh. Stretch it out to the so that's too low. Then you can start adding a vocal to it, you know. Uh. Let's try that.
and that's and that's basically it you know that's basically it and then from here on you can just like play around it doesn't change much literally when they make the track it doesn't change much the, the maximum thing that they'll probably do would be to cut off um would maybe to twist it around and do other things obviously and play around with the track and be more creative but usually what they do is they might cut off um um for example like certain hats for example so they might do this So they might cut off the string like this. You get it. And then the track just stays like that. So that's basically the idea there. So if you want to if you want to take it further you can you can you know be more creative I can do this here I can clone this and I can basically um hopefully my RAM doesn't freeze up on me I can basically take the base control C and paste it there as well and then basically just you know add spice to the whole thing and maybe just do this so that it sounds something like this now so it sounds almost like this now okay so let's so that's how the track initially sounds like. So maybe change it around. Or something like that you know um but obviously there's a lot you can do from there on you basically have the construct you have the basic idea or you have the basic beat to make a deep house track you know so you've got your 118 bpm you've got your nice hard kick uh you've got your nice clap to go with the whole thing you know you've got the heads right there um you've got that nice sound there you've got these nice like sounds with with a lot of ambience with that that just basically create the mood you know they basically create the mood uh, and then everything else after that is, is it's your own you know uh, creativity and stuff like that that's your own will you know if you want to add certain things and do certain things to it you can add it you know but that's always that that's what de defines your sound that's what defines your creativity you know the things that you do on top of the basic the basic beats or the basic constructs of a deep house track you know so that's basically it you know that's that's the, that's the best I can do that's the best I can teach you on how to make a deep house track um, if there's anything else I I I I I I would to do, then I would do it. You know, I mean, you can go and be and be creative and add stuff like this. Let me show you something. Let's do this. Let's add. Let's add this. You know, let's. I wanna add this vocal for you guys. This is basically like a, a vocal that I, I sample from, um, some clip that I got, and it's basically just like, um, ambient sound. It's not ambience, but it's like sounds. Like it's like background sounds. Um, in a, in a, in a. What is this? In like a, in like in like a streets in New York or something. So imagine if you add that to your track. So now your track initially sounds like this, right? You get it. Just to create the mood in your track.
you get the idea so like just by creating by adding the sound of like the environment in the streets type of thing people walking it creates that it creates that that similar environments within the track as well you know so there's a whole lot of things you can do i mean it's all basically on your creativity at the end but now you have the basics you you have you have the idea of where where to start if you want to make a deep house track you know so i'll just quickly go over everything again hard kick doesn't have to be a hard kick depends on the type of track you're making clap open hats usually they always there um close hat just to add that spice to the track and go with it you can have a string if you want you can use pads if you want depends on, on your preference um everything else after that is just like based on you it's all what you feel like adding to your track because it is your track after all so you decide what you want to add you know so that's that's basically me that's basically what i did for you guys so let me just i want you guys to listen to um this other track that I'm, I'm currently working on and i want you to hear basically like my usage of the same the same ideas and concepts you know that i'm teaching you guys me using it in my own track you know making my own track um which will be coming out basically in in the next ep that i'll be releasing with Senova, Senova the third so yeah um so that's a bit of self-promotion <laughs> but anyway let's 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 open that up and let's see what happens yeah so you have to excuse me like my my ram is super super low so yeah i don't even know if it's going to play i'm hoping that she plays but let me just take it from let me try to take it from here So as you can see already, you can see the BPM is at 118 there. So, I, so that it's, it's kind of freezing now, so I'm just going to cut off there. But that's the track that I'm working on. You can see the BPM. You can pretty much see everything that I told you about, you know. And then everything else from there on, all the other instruments and the sounds that I added. That was just basically my creativity in me making my track. Otherwise, yeah, man, I hope you guys found this tutorial very helpful. Um, like, subscribe, comment, Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud. Follow all the jazz. Shop, shop, buff it.